Daniel, Daniel 6. It pleased Dariavish to set over the kingdom a hundred and twenty princes, which should be over the whole kingdom, and over these three presidents, of whom Daniel was first, that the princes might give accounts unto them, and the king should have no damage. Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes, because an excellent ruach was in him, and the king thought to set him over the whole realm. Then the presidents and princes sought to find occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could find none occasion nor fault, for as much as he was faithful, neither was there any error or fault found in him. Then said these men, We shall not find any occasion against this Daniel, except we find it against him concerning the Torah of his Eloah. Then these presidents and princes assembled together to the king, and said thus unto him, King Daraviash, live forever. All the presidents of the kingdom, the governors and the princes, the counselors and the captains, have consulted together to establish a royal statute and to make a firm decree that whosoever shall ask a petition of any Eloah or man for thirty days, save of you, O king, he shall be cast into the den of lions. Now, O king, establish the decree and sing the writing that it be not changed according to the law of the Madai and Persians, which alters not. Wherefore King Daraviash signed the writing and the decree. Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house, and his windows being open in his chamber toward Yerushalayim, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day, and prayed and gave thanks before his Eloah, as he did aforetime. Then these men assembled and found Daniel praying and making supplication before his Eloah. Then they came near and spoke before the king concerning the king's decree. Have you not signed a decree that every man that shall ask a petition of any Eloah or man within thirty days, save of you, O king, shall be cast into the den of lions. The king answered and said, The thing is true, according to the law of the Madai and the Persians, which alters not. Then answered they and said before the king, That Daniel, which is of the children of the captivity of Yahudah, regards not you, O king, nor the decree that you have signed, but makes his petition three times a day. Then the king, when he heard these words, was sore displeased with himself, and set his heart on Daniel to deliver him. And he labored till the going down of the sun to deliver him. Then these men assembled unto the king, and said unto the king, Know, O king, that the law of the Madai and Persians is that no decree nor statute which the king establishes, may be changed. Then the king commanded, and they brought Daniel, and cast him into the den of lions. Now the king spoke and said unto Daniel, Your Eloah, whom you serve continually, he will deliver you. And as, and as a stone was brought, and laid upon the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet ring, and with the signet of his princes, that the purpose might not be changed concerning Daniel. Then the king went to his palace, and passed the night fasting. Neither were instruments of music brought before him, and his sleep went from him. Then the king arose very early in the morning, and went in haste unto the den of lions. And... When he came to the den, 
he cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel. And the king spoke and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living Eloah, is your Eloah, whom you serve continually, able to deliver you from the lions? Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. My Eloah has sent his angel and has shut the lions' mouths that they have not hurt me, for as much as before him innocency was found in me, and also before you, O king, have I done no hurt. Then was the king exceeding glad for him, and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no manner of hurt was found upon him, because he believed in his Eloah. And the king commanded, and they brought those men which had accused Daniel, and they cast them into the den of lions, them, their children, and their women, and the lions had the mastery of them, and broke all their bones in pieces before they came at the bottom of the den. Then King Daravish wrote unto all the people, rather wrote unto all people, nations, and languages, that dwell in all the earth, peace be multiplied unto you. I make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom men tremble and fear before the Eloah of Daniel, for he is the living Eloah and steadfast forever, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed and his dominion shall be even unto the end. He delivers and rescues, and he works signs and wonders in heaven and in earth. Who has delivered Daniel from the power of the lions? So this Daniel prophesied in the reign of Darayavish and in the reign of Koresh, the Persian.